talk about the piece that you, you wrote. It was truly in response to a question that you had posed to uh, uh, your class at the time, uh, saying, would your college campus be around for a very long time? My conclusion was, yes, that for um, human institutions, they're one of the longer-lived entities, and, and there's a lot of background to, to uh, approve that. So then I came to think about a little bit about the nature and history of the college campus, which is kind of a wonderful and, and uh, specialized uh, environment. And so then in looking into that, a lot of my base information comes from a book by Paul Turner, mm -hmm. um, The American College Campus. And he points out in that that the, Ameri that the college campus, as we know it today, um, was an American invention. As a matter of fact, campus to describe the physical geography of an institution of higher education was first used as to describe the lawn in front of Dassault Hall at Princeton University. That, they, the, that lawn was called the campus field in Latin. And um, that has evolved into our present use of the word campus. I mean, we say now, say, an industrial campus or an office building campus. But that sense that it is uh, a geographic entity um, characterized, interestingly, in most people's minds, as a predominantly landscape uh, condition yes. in which the buildings are, are the negative space and the open space is, is the, pos the positive space, the campus. Colleges and universities in America, we find again that some of the longest lived institutions in, in, in any of our experience are colleges and universities. Um, and there are lots of statistics to prove that. However, it's also in, in America completely true that there are a lot of colleges that started and failed. So just being a college campus is not an immediate guarantee of longevity. Mm. Um, and that partly has to do with, of course, American higher education being seen not as um, a, 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 an institutional right uh, granted by governmental authority so much as uh, a marketplace for new ideas, which is characteristic of America, but certainly less characteristic of, uh, of European cultures. So you have some long-lived institutions and some, and, but many dying off, um, all with, uh, with de largely defined by their physical location, their campus. Yes, it's possible that college campuses might be around for a very long time. Now, is it, will, will they continue to be relevant in with changing demographics, societal, culture, and technologies? And so looking at that, I've seen that, that they, in, the, in societal and cultural changes, campuses have been surprisingly resilient. And they are, I believe, uh, although I've not done the big time study, something someone ought to do, uh, it really is the natural, the one success, let's say, of the um, utopian village. There's this background of success and what happens now? And there are a couple of certainly deficiencies or difficulties that campuses bring with them. And one of them is that it is a very uh, significant capital investment on the part of the institution to have all these buildings and grounds and maintain them. And one of the interesting things about uh, that capital investment is it's not very flexible. So um, 
when society changes or in some way or other, it's hard for the campus aspect of the institution to flex quickly. Let's turn to your perspective on the value of campus. At least for some people, the college campus will continue to be a viable way in which to deliver the services of higher education. And I believe this for a couple of reasons. I believe that the value lies in several key points. And, and I would say that I think that colleges, uh, the college campus will remain viable as long as some of these pivotal points are understood and nurtured. And if they aren't, then, then I fear for the validity. All right, so let's go to points. Uh, one of the big points is that, that the residential college um, it will continue to be, the successful residential colleges will continue to be tied to a, a unique for each campus environment. There is, there is a place, place as part of that, of, its, of the institutional being. Is that the college campus, rather than being, rather, def, rather than defining the whole of the institution, will become the center for an ever widening circumference of that, of, that defines the impact of, of that college. So, uh, I mean, you see this in, in greater and greater um, emphasis on uh, uh, semesters, years abroad. Uh, you see it in a much increased off-campus research up at the undergraduate level. Sure. Uh, you see it in the use of um, digital media to to spread the word and to uh, and to even communicate uh, with with the, your own cadre of students. Um, so so the 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 image that I have, which I think it will be valid for a while will be continued to be have the 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 strength of the institution jointly defined by by its central physical physically defined core and its more and more broadly dispersed activities that um, define the whole of college a b or c I believe in the quality of the built environment. It's what we all experience. What I really loved about that being the campus architect was that I had a hand in creating an, a, a nearly ideal environment where every year literally thousands of students came and they lived for a period of time in a village that was coherent, had meaning, supported the society. And when they were through with that, when they go out to live anywhere, they will have, for that period of time, actually lived in an environment that started to live up the potent, to the potential of all our environments. And they know it's possible. So when they sit on the Village Design Review Board or they write to their congressman or whatever, and to deal with environmental issues, they will have in their mind a time where they actually lived in an environment that, that cared about them, that supported them, that was a joy to be in. It's not impossible. It, it, it is entirely possible. And here it is. It, it's right there. It's, it's, it's UCLA. It's even USC. It's hard for people to say that, but yes, indeed. It's there. It's Dartmouth. It's Princeton. It's it's. Uh, the U in Minnesota.